it's part of our biodiversity of our town. It's part of our natural history, and we need to be stewards of what's in our own backyards. Uh, I may not be able to affect what's going on in a rainforest, but I can affect what's going on around my own community. Winter has melted away, and the forest ecosystem is waking up. A sure sign of spring in the Garden State is the annual amphibian migration. That's right, salamanders, frogs, and others wake up from their seasonal slumber, shake off the winter chill, and head out to vernal pools to mate. So this is perfect amphibian weather uh, for, for late winter, early spring. It's rainy, it's in the 50s. The spotted salamanders and frogs have all been hibernating all winter long. They've been in, in the leaf litter, they've been under rotting logs, they've been in mat, small mammal holes. So they'll come up out of the ground and they'll, they'll cross to the vernal pools. So at this site tonight, we can see up to 18 different species, but really it's the three main ones. The spring peeper, the spotted salamander, and the wood frog. But there's a problem. Often roads stand in the way of this migration, putting these tiny animals in jeopardy. But groups of folks are aware of this and try to help these critters out. While we don't generally advise handling amphibians because they have very sensitive skin, in this case, we're actually doing it because we don't, have, we don't want them to get crushed. He's a jumpy little spring peeper. Tonight here on Beekman Road in East Brunswick, the animals making this journey are getting a break. In a joint effort with Conserve Wildlife and the state DEP, friends of the East Brunswick Environmental Commission, the township, and Scout Troop 66 are out collecting data that someday could help make a difference. We're actually doing a species count on how many different animals are here to help the scientists with their data collection. So with this data, we can see if it makes sense to put conservation dollars into here, either closing the road for a longer period of time, maybe a month, maybe building an underground tunnel. So based on this data is where we can make further steps. So you might be wondering, really, amphibians? I mean, closing roads? Why should we care? You know, globally we should care, because we should care about the earth and the environment, but locally, this is one of the last places, or maybe the last place in East Brunswick where we have spotted salamanders. So if we don't protect this population of spotted salamanders, they'll be gone from our town. I know there was one species here that was completely extirpated because of the cars. But by doing this project, by closing the roads, we're saving all of these species. As soon as one species leaves the ecosystem, other species that either eat it or that the, this species eats might not be able to survive. So when one species goes away, it's the whole ecosystem that's impacted. So to the person who's inconvenienced, uh, this is New Jersey. You know, traffic and detours are part, of, are part of New Jersey. But what I would say to somebody who is inconvenienced about it, I apologize for that, but I would, I would encourage you to come out and see what we're protecting here. And I promise you that when you see a spotted salamander safely cross from one side of the road to the other, that detour won't mean anything to you anymore.